a fly on the wall. You ever wanted to be that? Peek into a, a meeting. Now we are. We listen to Jesus pray to God. What struck me was how self-aware Jesus was. As you, Father, are in me, and I am in you. In this scripture, Jesus is saying, I know that you have sent me. Please let the world believe it. Because if they believe this, then they will know your love. Jesus said that God loved him before the foundation of the world. And God loved us before the foundation of the world. Now just think about that. Before this world was created, before the solar system was spinning around the galaxy, God loved us. This love that Jesus speaks of is an unconditional love. We as humans think in the finite, but this love is infinite. We know all we have done, the great things we've done, the not so great things, right? And God loves us anyway. The love is steadfast, strong. And we may question ourselves, are we lovable after all the things we've done in our life? Yes, we are. Not only that, we are one with the Lord. Jesus said so. We are one with the Lord, we as humans, God's creation. And we are one with each other. I was watching the news when our students, our kids, and others were killed in a school shooting in Texas, and our brother was killed in the church shooting in California, and 10 of our brothers and sisters were killed in a grocery store in New York State. I can't imagine the pain. And as a teacher myself, after the tragedy in Texas, my students looked at me. Are we safe? And I had to reassure them. To look into a child's eyes after this unspeakable tragedy. I've done it too many times. In the news, I heard the phrases in that community where these students were killed. <laughs> After reading the gospel, no. It wasn't that community. It was our community. And the gunman didn't kill them. He killed our children in Texas. He killed our brother in California and our brothers and sisters in New York State. And if you really want to go deeper, we are killing each other. There are no pronouns they and them. It's us and we. We pray for the parents of the school shooting the parents who probably made breakfast for their kids in the morning and watched them walk to school, stood with them at the bus stop or simply dropped them off. 
not realizing that afternoon they would need to get on their knees and pray to communicate with their spirit. Something is wrong. Something is wrong when a dad wants to buy a birthday cake for his daughter in Buffalo grocery store and never makes it to the party. Something is wrong when a man is gunned down in church for his beliefs. Something is wrong when children go to school to learn and don't come home. These shootings happened within two weeks of each other. Something is wrong. And I don't have the answers. But I know in the midst of all this, Christ has not abandoned us. He is with us. He is with us right now. He was with us before the foundation of the earth and will be with us until the end of time. That I do know. We can talk to the Lord and each other. God's creation can communicate, for we are one. We are connected. There's no politics, and we are one. If a person comes to church and says, I feel judged, I don't dress the way society says I should. Once they enter church, the house of God, they will know that we are one. What can we say to a person like that? We can say, welcome home. This is God's house and you are a creation of God. We are one. I don't look like you. We are one. I don't act like you. We are one. To talk about the love that God has that was spoke about in the gospel, this unconditional love. What color is this love? What gender is this love? What age is love? How rich is love? How poor is love? What identity is love? Or is love love? Let us all treat each other with respect and love that a child of God deserves. And I'm preaching to myself as well. To my brothers and sisters online, we are one. Maybe you can't get out of bed. Maybe you're tired. Whatever the reason, God is there with you. And so are we, because we are one. The Lord will never leave us, even if we try to leave the Lord. Unconditional love from the Lord is pure and eternal. The fact that we are one with the Lord is proof of his love. 
Amen.